Hello, uh, this is Marcus, right? I'm back again with uh, uh, my another unboxing video. I know I thought about it as if I'm doing, uh, I've done a lot of unboxing videos, but this is my only my second unboxing video. So um, today I'm going to look at uh, Transformers Masterpiece Shattered Glass Optimus Prime. Okay, um, but first a little uh, shameless plug. Um, if I could ask you to uh, go to Facebook, okay, uh, I set up a page Optimarcus, all right. Um, and if you can like it, um, well, I will put all my unboxing videos there and I also go live uh, <coughs> on my uh, Facebook page, Okay, Marcus. Okay? Um, I'm going to put all my Transformers and toy uh, posts over there. Okay, so um, thanks. I hope, hope you like it already. All right? uh, <coughs> don't worry, I'll remind you again at the end of this. Okay, so today I'm going to look at Shattered Glass uh, Optimus Prime. Okay, so um, this is the box all right, for it. It is substantially larger, okay, than most boxes. Um, let me show you the back, right? Um, and <clears throat> it's uh, to, to me, I found it pretty amazing, okay, that uh, Hasbro actually did a shattered glass version of uh, Optimus Prime in an MP scale, okay. Uh, now to start, okay, <clears throat> why, why the box is pretty amazing is because it's got a window display, so I can open it up, alright. And you can check it out. You can check out what's actually inside the box. All right. Um, okay. As you can see, since the name of the series, the line, okay, uh, that this optimus prime comes from a shattered glass. So we have some cracked glass effects here. It's not really cracked because I will have uh, I will scratch my finger if I did it. But <clears throat> anyway, so this shattered glass optimus prime. Okay. So uh, if you don't know, shattered glass is an alternate universe. Okay where the Autobots are evil and the Decepticons are good, okay? So it's uh, heroic Decepticons versus evil Autobots, if I remember correctly. So in that universe, Optimus Prime is the evil leader of the evil Autobots, right? <clears throat> so this is the rationale for this version of uh, Optimus Prime. So uh, I'm going to unbox it. So this is, as you can see, this is the Hasbro version of it, right? Because you can see Transformers, and it doesn't really say Masterpiece anywhere on it, okay? Uh, but yes, this is this is uh, MP is MP10. Yeah, this is the MP10. Oh wait, wait, wait. Let me check. Yes, this is the MP10 mold. Okay, for Optimus Prime Shattered Glass. Okay. So as I from uh, oh yes, so uh, I got this from uh, Robo Robo. Alright, uh, R O B O R O B O. Okay. So uh, thank thanks a lot. As in, I bought it. I bought it. I didn't get it for free. Okay. Yeah. Contrary to what a lot of you uh, think. Okay. Uh, okay. So, uh, okay, so just to show you, okay, Scotch tape, Scotch tape is still here, okay, it's still on. So, uh, I'm really unboxing it, okay. So, uh, okay, I'm going to cut it open. Okay, yeah, okay let's check out what's inside it. Okay, Alright, so Shattered Glass, the most prime. Okay, it's quite heavy. So um right. So this is Shattered Glass Optimus Prime. Okay. Uh, as you can see, he's got that uh, crack on his chest plate. Um, I think the side of him should. Oh, okay. He's got a cracked chest plate. Okay. Um, he comes with his trailer. All right. Uh, I'm not very sure if there's a roller, but let me. I I should open him up. Okay. And he's got his green Energon X and a Shattered Glass version of the Matrix. So, um, okay, I'm going to open him up, yeah? Uh, okay, so, uh, you know, I thought they actually uh, went with the paper twisty dies. Uh, now that I think about it, yeah, they, they suddenly changed it back to plastic. Um, I'm okay with it because you, you could actually pull it off and actually snap, but I don't want to risk um, <coughs> uh, damaging him. So, this is Shattered Glass Optimus Prime. Okay. Uh, okay. So, this MP, uh, I'm going to cut away some of the other parts. Okay. Okay, so uh, let's let's take away some of the plastic pieces here. Right, so you can see uh, Shattered Glass Optimus, right? 
Okay. Uh, okay. <clears throat> he doesn't have a full finger articulation. Okay. Anymore, it's just uh, as you can see, it's just the first finger. All right. And the the remaining three fingers are molded together. Okay. Uh, his thumb is also. Uh, it's not. It's, I think his thumb is immobile as well. Okay. I mean, it's the MP10 mold, so uh, it's not very many differences. Okay. Uh, the other thing is, let's take a look. Okay, uh, you can see his evil purple uh, Autobot logo. Okay, I think he has uh, communications. Okay, uh, I thought he could flip out his. Uh, I thought he has some communications device on his wrist, but that might be MP one. Okay, right. So uh, here, here's here's MP. Here's Shatterglass Optimus Prime, okay, for you to take a look at today, right? Um, <clears throat> he's uh, described as evil and tyrannical, and he's uh, a bit psychotic, right? Um, but I guess these are traits that Galvatron has, so it would make sense that in an evil twisted version of the world, uh, an evil Optimus Prime would have those traits. Okay, so just for some comparison, right? Last week, uh, I took a look at MP Megatron, the new MP Megatron, okay, the one that uh, apparently there's a lot of issues with paint scrapes, but uh, fortunately that has not happened to me, and I hope it doesn't happen to me. So this is what they look like side by side, okay? They're both evil, right? So this is the evil leader of the evil Decepticons in our world, and this is the evil leader of the evil Autobots in the Shattered Glass universe, okay? Remember the Shattered Glass universe is the alternate universe. Uh, dimension where the Autobots are evil and the Decepticons are good. Okay. So, uh, let me take a look. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to take a look at the rest of the box. Okay. Uh, let's hope I don't struggle too much with this. Okay. So, uh, if you don't realize, I'm actually doing this live, so uh, yes, I have some difficulty cutting it because I'm not very sure how to put it together. Right. Um, I think uh, Shattered Glass Ultimate Prime came out last year, uh, or, or at the beginning of this year. Yeah. But uh, he's, still, he's still pretty awesome. And yeah. Um, okay. Robo Robo was awesome enough to keep, keep on for me to buy. Okay. So, uh, let's take a look at this, okay, so, um, I would really strongly suggest that if you unbox this, okay, you have both scissors, okay, and a pen knife, alright, because you need either one, either devices for a different reason. For example, cutting, I can't believe it's secured by the twisty ties. Okay, they're not really twisty ties anymore. They're not really cable ties either. Okay, uh, let's see whether they will separate. Oh gosh, they won't. Um, we... Oh, okay, they're still being held together by the side. Okay. Okay, and you can see this is um, these are all the accessories. Okay, that uh, Shattered Glass Optimus Prime comes with. Okay, right. <coughs> First, you have his blaster. Right. Okay. Uh, it's not as black as uh, the usual black color it is. Okay, but here yeah, I'll put it here. Okay. Um, <coughs> then we have his Energon X. Okay, it's a disgusting green color. Okay, in contrast to the usual red. Okay, and I think it fits Optimus Prime well, okay? Because as you can see, Shattered Glass Optimus Prime, he, his purple color scheme, he has uh, green highlights, okay? And this serves to make him look a little bit toxic, okay? A little bit polluted, right? Uh, so, yeah, I think it's fitting that it's green, okay? Uh, it could be purple, it could be purple, but then that would be Megatron's color, and we don't really want Optimus Prime to be a direct um, uh, copy of Megatron in a, in a color scheme sense, okay? The Shattered Glass version. So I'm going to put this here. And then we have the matrix, which is a little bit of a paint to take out. Okay. 
So uh, matrix di diecast metal, alright. Um, a little bit different. You can see the 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 part where it uh, encounters the uh, the sprays of the the, the ancient Autobots again. It's a little bit duller than the usual golden color, alright. I did that with my imagination. Okay, so we're gonna put this here. And then we have the we have the trailer, right? We have the trailer, right? Uh, okay, okay. Uh, if you are not sure sure how this works, okay, and then it comes packed like this, the trailer, okay. So um, what you're supposed to do, I think, is yeah. Push it out like this, okay, and then it will stand properly. Alright, it will stand properly. Okay, so let's take a look at how Optimus Prime interacts with all of this. Okay, um, so you can see, oh, okay, but before that, okay, let's take a look at how the trailer works, okay. <clears throat> you can see, uh, yeah, it's, I'm not very sure what this control part is called, okay, but, um, what everyone always likes to do, or at least the pictures always like to show, is um, Optimus Prime here, injured, and this fixing him, or I, I really don't know how this will heal anything, okay? But uh, pulling some parts out or pulling his eyes out, okay? Um, for kicks, we could always have Megatron, okay? Because Megatron is here today, okay? Being repaired on the trailer. Okay, we can rebound this trailer. Right. Okay, but Megatron's not the star today. Okay, it's Shattered Glass Optimus Prime. Okay. So let's let's take a look at him. Okay. So uh one, one of the things I found really awesome about the, the masterpiece of Primes, okay, and Roger Masters and so on and so forth, is that you can open up Okay, you can open up the chest, okay. And Put the matrix in. Oh, no. Well, this is very pressurizing when you don't actually know how to. Uh, this part opens up. Hmm. I wonder if there are instructions in the box. Uh, okay. Uh, anyway, the matrix fits into his chest, okay, but let me um, struggle a little bit more, okay. Um, oh, wait, there are instructions in the box, okay. So, uh, yes, it comes with instructions, which, of course, I never look at. Okay, so, uh, okay, we're looking at how the matrix of leadership, alright, fits into his chest. So apparently this opens up. Um, once you open this, this opens up. And this should open upwards as well. But it isn't for some reason. Oh, it's really not opening up. Okay. Um, Okay, perhaps he is not meant to uh, wear the matrix today. But anyway, what usually happens is that the matrix will go inside here, okay, and you can close it up. That's what usually happens, alright? Um, but today it's not working very well, okay. <clears throat> right? Okay, so I'll put it aside, okay. I'll make one last attempt to open this up. Yeah, okay, fail, fail, okay. Uh, I'll try this another time. So this is uh, Shattered Glass Masterpiece of Optimus Prime. Okay. So uh, if you remember the last time I talked about Optimus Prime, I usually give uh, my weapons to uh, <clears throat> the Autobots who hold the weapons in their right hand and the Zipcons in their left hand. Okay. Um, because yes, I'm right-handed and my uh, dear sibling is not. So, uh, but because remember this is Shattered Glass of Optimus Prime, he's evil. So I'm going to give him the his Ion Blaster in his bow. Okay, uh, so be careful with the fingers, they fall off quite easily. Um, as did the 
Keith Ng says, if not wrong, Matrix cannot fit into chest. I think can. I think can. Because according to the instructions, it looks like uh, the Matrix can fit inside. But this might take a little bit of fiddling around. But, but uh, I have not played with him for very long, so do uh, with MP10 for very long. So uh, I might not remember how to do it properly. Okay. Uh, so this is him, okay, with Iron Blaster, and uh, let's see how he looks like with his Energon Axe. Okay. And this is how he looks like with both, both armaments. So here we have uh, Shatter Glass Optimus Prime today. Okay. This, this is what it's like. Okay. Um, okay. In terms of weight, okay, as with uh, all the previous MP10s, okay, uh, MP10 modes, okay, um, his feet are die cast. The rest of him mostly isn't, mostly isn't. Okay. So he's uh, not as heavy as the previous ones. Okay. Um, okay. If uh, she's about, it's a little bit heavier than uh, MP MP Megatron, a little bit heavier. Okay. Um, but if you remember, uh, MP Ten, he's a very fun mode and he's very uh, fun to play with. Okay, so yeah, uh, this this is the, the same except that he's sh the shattered glass version. Okay, uh, let's see. Okay, <clears> hey, <throat> okay. so let's take a look at the trailer. Okay, what I'm gonna do is. Okay, because the trailer is relatively simpler, I'm going to transform the trailer for you to take a look at. And uh, this is what the, the trailer looks like. You know what, I'm going to pull this out. So this is what the trailer looks like. Okay. So while you're checking out the trailer, I'm going to make one last attempt to fit the matrix into him. Okay. Which might involve a little bit of um, okay. okay, which might okay. Uh, let me pick, let me try one last time. In the okay. Um, Failure, failure, I cannot put his uh, matrix inside. Okay. Uh, yes, okay. So this is Shattered Glass Optimus Prime. Okay. Um, since we have a little bit of time, um, I'm going to transform him. Okay. So, uh, I'm not incredibly graceful when it comes to transforming uh, primes, okay? So, uh, <clears throat> uh, bear with me, alright? Okay. So, uh, as with everything, first take out all its accessories, okay? okay. Um, in case you're wondering, this is the second, third mode, of third MP10 mode that I have, okay? Uh, the first one being the, the MP original MP10, okay. I think I got the second wave one, okay. I actually didn't want to get MP10 at first, right? Because I already had MP1, so um, I was like, why? No, actually I had MP4, which means that I had, I had a trailer. So I was like, why do I need another Optimus Prime? But of course, that um, phrase came back to bite me in, in, the, in the ass, okay. Since I went to buy uh, MP10 again, which is the new mode of Optimus Prime, which is not that new anymore when you think about it. So, uh, okay, as you can see, um, his, uh, his grill, his grill abs are actually fake, okay? This is the real grill, okay? Okay. Um, okay. Still a bit peeved at that. Okay, 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 okay. I'm going to make one last attempt to try and open the, the matrix, okay? Uh, 
because I don't believe this yeah. Oh, okay, alright, okay, never mind, yeah, yeah, okay, M yeah, maybe, maybe it really doesn't, yeah, okay. <sighs> okay. Okay, so, um, I, I think this uh, MP is uh, less stressful to, to transform, okay, because there aren't as many metal parts, right, and uh, also, uh, He's not as heavy, so uh, if, if a part drops or if you your fingers get pinched, okay, it's not as painful, alright? Uh, and if you've ever pinched your fingers, man, you know what, it, what it's like. Yeah. So, um, I actually don't, don't really know that much about Shatterglass Optimus Prime, okay? I do know that eventually he becomes a good guy, he becomes uh, Nova Prime, and then he helps to save the universe. I don't really understand why that happens. Um, after being reformatted by Unicron, uh, if I if I remember correctly, yeah, uh, yeah, I, I don't really understand why why that works and why it happens. But um, oh, okay, I guess he had to turn into a good guy in the end. Okay, so uh, this is okay. So kind of have uh, the the tray, the front part okay the cat the cat portion done already okay so now it's uh, trying to fit everything else together okay um, I think yes okay uh, for, for those of you who are a lot more um, uh, deft and uh, graceful when it comes to transforming uh, your transformers please don't laugh at me all right. Um, I am. I. I always tell my friends um to uh, use as uh, not to use a lot of force when I transform, but I actually use a lot of force when I transform them. Yeah. GTN comic says hello. Oh, uh, hello. Do do you do you, do you manage to get uh, shattered glass of the over there? G GTN comics. So, um, hmm? oh, okay. Um, so uh, almost there, almost there. Okay, really stressed out. Okay, cause um, I feel that if I cannot transform him, um, I will forever more be judged. Uh, yeah. But GTM comic says needs new windshield. Oh, <laughs> he he does. Okay. Um. Okay, so this is the tr what I think is the tricky part, which is um, shortening his legs. I think shortening it. Okay. Uh, I don't really. Oh, okay. Okay. So if you're like me and you've forgotten where the button is, this is the button. This, this, this sort of thing. This one. These are the buttons that allow you to press uh, his legs, his thighs back in. Ah, okay. Uh, of course, you need to have it at the correct angle. Okay. So, um, so it's a lot like uh, real life. You need to press certain things and press it at the correct angle for them to go in. Okay. Ah, okay. It's incredibly stressful. Um, yeah. Uh, and anyone have any um, tips on how to push his back in? Not yet, but GTM Comics says that he has only uh, MP10 Prime and waiting for MP36 Megatron to arrive. Oh, okay. Uh, do, do you all need the orange, uh, orange cap over there? If, if you buy a MP... Uh, <coughs> yeah, the M MP36 Megatron, do you, do you need to have the orange cap if it's shipped over there? Okay, uh, okay. Honest thing is, uh, okay, I'm not very sure how to put his legs together. Okay. Um, he replies that he got it from Japan, so no orange cap. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Um, 
Okay, may, maybe I need to uh, pull this out again. Okay, uh, for those of you who are um, in <coughs> eagerly awaiting me from this, okay, never mind, I, I think I will live with this. Okay, so this is. Um, This is uh, more or less how he looks, okay? His legs are supposed to be together, okay? But I can't get it in right now, because I just opened him, okay? Remember, uh, this is live, okay? So, uh, okay, okay, what we're going to do now is... Okay, take a look at his side, okay? Um, I think before him, when he had that lopsided uh, optimus, uh, sorry, audible symbol on, the, on, on his side, okay? But I guess it won't look as good in this MP mode. So, uh, I can see the, the rationale for not doing it uh, over here. Okay. <coughs> okay. Um, maybe I'll turn this to the side also. Okay. So you can take a look at what it looks like on the other side. Okay. okay. Uh, I do think I'm missing a few steps. I think that I'm missing a few steps, but okay, he is as does it work like this? Oh wait, it does. Oh, I feel so no. I'm, I'm so sorry, all my friends who think I'm uh, know a lot more transformers, but of course I don't actually don't. Okay, uh, so this is sort of how how it looks. Okay, so now I'm going to peg his trailer to him. So as you can see, he has these two. Uh, Holes, right? It's two slots, right? So this is where this fits in. Okay, there's these two slots here. Okay, so um, okay, I'm gonna slot them together. Okay, and we're gonna see how it looks like. Okay, and so here we have okay, Shattergun Optimus Prime um, in full trailer mode. Okay, full trailer mode glory. Okay. So he is quite. Uh, I remember MP was follow the trailer quite well. Okay, so they they do stay together quite a bit, as you can see. All right. Okay. Um, I don't have Bumblebee with me today, but uh, reportedly he can fit inside here. Reportedly he can fit inside here. Okay. However, okay, today we have uh, Titan Return Optimus Prime, okay, uh, watching us, okay. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Titan Return Optimus Prime inside, okay. Uh, so it'll be a little bit weird, but okay. So of course his head comes off. Uh, okay. I also have not uh, transformed Titan Return Optimus Prime for quite a while, so uh, let's hope I can do this. GTM Comics has never transformed any of his masterpiece figures. Oh. Okay, uh, I think that's a wise choice. So seriously, um, yeah, there have been some disasters. And by some, I mean like, uh, take a lot of disasters. Yeah. Okay, so um, if you don't know, uh, Titan Return Optimus Prime, okay, uh, which I bought, which I bought, okay, yeah. Um, <clears throat> he is a triple changer, okay. And it's obviously um, going to be hot in. Okay. But for now. Okay. Okay, uh, so, so this is the part where I'm always a little bit confused about how his uh, how everything fits together. But uh, don't worry, I will figure it out, I'm sure. Okay. Okay, ah, here we go. Okay. So, um, with this, okay, uh, oh, transform him. Okay. 
Hello, Marcus and Transformers. Oh, who? Lian. Oh, hi. Hi, Lian. Thank, thanks for tuning in. Oh, uh, I think it's... Uh, oh, yeah, beware. I think there are some uh, Chong uh, KO, uh, pirated uh, Shattered Glass of Image Prime going around, if, if I'm not wrong. So, um, just just be careful, okay? Um, if you if you have any suspicions, okay, any doubts, uh, please, please Google it, alright? Uh, I don't have any tips for spotting KOs, alright? Um, but I do think there are some KO shattered glass ones around. Um, GTM comics us where does the trailer go when Prime transforms? Um, okay, so I subscribe to the theory that it goes into subspace, okay, which is the magical space that um, all uh, random weapons or, or parts go into, okay? Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't really subscribe to the yeah, so I, I subscribe more to subspace than to mass shifting, okay? Uh, I, I know mass shifting also means that they shunt some of their mass into subspace as well, but I generally like to think, uh, just like to ascribe it all to subspace, yeah. Or, or magic, yeah. Okay, so uh, anyway, about Titans Return of Titans Prime, okay? Um, the, the, this, these flaps always get me because I don't really know where and how they fit in, okay? Yeah. I really don't know how to fit it. Okay. Um, so kudos to you if you ever won any transforming competitions, um, because I clearly haven't. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is um, clearly not how it's supposed to go. Okay, I think it might fit better this way. Okay. Oh no wait, um Okay. So we have to twist it around um like this. Okay. So I think this is how it all fits together. Um only time will tell. I think I might have done it wrong with it. Okay. Oh, okay, yes, finally. Um, okay, have any of you um, transformed Titan's Return of First Prime or not? Oh, oh, man, I really don't know how this floor fits. Okay, I'm going to make one last ditch attempt to fit it all in. Okay, you know what? Um, temporarily, since I cannot figure out the flaps here, okay, we are just going to let it rest outside. Okay, uh, embarrassing, I know, but I really can't figure it out right now. Okay. Yeah, let's let's have it fit on the sides. First. Okay, so this is how um, it will all go in. Okay, and here you have oh wow, it actually cannot fit all the way in. Okay, so this is how um, it works. Okay, uh, with a small MP, you can actually roll some of them in. You roll some of them in. Okay, and it will fit. Okay, so since it's about here, okay, it can accommodate uh, MP about this long. Okay, which is uh, I think longer than most of the smaller MP cars. Okay. Uh, so here we have, all right. Uh, <coughs> yeah, Transformer Shattered Glass Optimus Prime. Okay, uh, let me bring him here. Right, so you can look. Okay. Uh, so here he is driving on his trailer. Okay. Um, do do I like him? Uh, yes. I think he's 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 kind of cool. Okay. I think he's one of the better. Uh, uh, Optimus Prime uh, Redecos around, okay. Um, I did like the sh the Year of the Horse one, right? Because uh, he had some nifty parts, okay, and he had that um, odd horse symbol, okay. <clears throat> uh, 
Uh, I didn't really like uh, the big convoy, okay? Uh, I know I will get crucified for this, okay? But, um, yeah, I, I didn't really see the appeal of it, unless it was a black one, okay? I'm, yeah, I might buy a sleep mode uh, MP10 of Burst Prime if they ever do it, okay? Just to have a version of Burst Prime when it's dead, okay? But uh, there's a little bit more of it. Yes! So uh, here you have Shattered Glass of Emma's Shrine okay, from the Transformers Master's Masterpiece series and this is the uh, Hasbro version of it. Yeah. And then uh, we have Megatron accompanying him. Okay. TTM yeah. loves the box art. Oh yeah, it's and really cool. Yeah. No, no problem. So, um, th th thanks a lot for watching. Video, you oh, okay. Uh, so if if you like, okay, last week, okay, I took a look at MP thirty six Megatron, okay, um, and I showed you, um, yeah, what was like to unbox it. Oh, and one uh, detail that I wasn't able to show, okay, last week, is that if you take out his head, okay, because he has a few different faces, okay, you can actually see um, what his robotics, uh, his schematics look like inside. Okay, so if you remember uh, from Transformers the movie, okay, when they scanned Megatron, when Unicron scanned Megatron, right, and in order to reformat him into Galvatron, this is uh, uh, evokes what you saw over there. Yeah. So please, um, yeah, I, I hope you like this. Okay. So please follow uh, <coughs> me on uh, Facebook, right, on uh, Optimarcus, right fb.com slash Optimarcus or if you're already on Facebook then uh, please uh, just search for Optimarcus right? if you're on my Instagram then uh, fb.com slash Optimarcus or you can look at my bio right? I think I put my link there already okay um, yeah I hope you like this unboxing video and thank you very much for watching all um, five of you okay uh, by the way if you want to know where I am right now I'm at Joyous Learning all right um, this is uh, my friend's uh, enrichment center, it's at Topayo, okay? So uh, if you do have a chance, uh, you can uh, come by, okay? It's at the block with the famous Goreng Pisang, okay? So you're not sure where it is, Google Goreng Pisang Topayo and you'll find out where Joyous Learning is, okay? Yes, <coughs> okay, thank you, bye-bye.